Brisbane Lions, though, coming off a bit of an upset loss to Richmond last week, will be keen to atone. And Kate Luckins, what a story coming back from the ACL injury sustained in round one of last season, and she's back already. Yeah, it was the 9th of January, can you believe it, when she did her ACL 266 days ago, and she's back playing football. If it was anyone that could do it, it's Kate Luckins, and good to see her back, and can't wait to see her playing again. It's a dangerous user for Essendon. Attacking it hard, Luckins on return. First game in 266 days, and the crowd is on to that. Wonderful story. Brisbane looking so dangerous when they get it inside 50. They are the most dangerous attack in the competition. You can see why tonight. Spark kick inside once again, and it's Wardlaw this time. And a chance for Jesse Wardlaw to tie the record of Ash Woodland with 19 goals in a regular season. Ash did that last season on her way to winning the league goal kicking title and Jessie Wardlaw can kick her 19th. She too out in front in the race for the goal kicking title. This for her second, Brisbane sixth. And she strikes it through and ties Woodland's record. Ruby Spark, so they'll reload and go again. Ruby from 50. Long and strong, Dakota waiting at the back. Here's Conway. They're in front for the first time this afternoon. Hickey to the heart of the 50, deep. Waiting for it is Hotter. Hotter with the snap. It's back-to-back -back goals for the Brisbane Lions. And they can smell top spot on the ladder. Monaghan fires it out. It's going to sit for Campbell, who's floated forward. Pierce is back there as well. Tried to get it to Paxman, but it was stolen by Ruby Spark. And they've erupted with a fast finish, the Brisbane Lions. And it's an incredible win for the Lions. Craig Stasevich and the Brisbane Lions skyrocket to the top of the AFLW ladder after the first month of play in Season 7. And after losing five straight to the Ds, including that preliminary final at the MCG by four points last season, they have the last laugh here today. Two great clubs, Brisbane looking for their second cup, Melbourne their first. Four quarters away from a piece of football immortality and away we go at Springfield. Just outside her range. It goes short, here comes Davidson. Nice setup from Brisbane. They had the space for Davidson to lead into and the kick was perfect. Excellent kick by Grider. Eight three in the last six games. It's really got motoring in the back half of the season. Such an engine starter for Brisbane and she gets the first of the grand final. It's picked off. Zanka could drive to a one-on-one. -on -one. It's Pierce versus Campbell. Off the head of Pierce, taken by Shannon Campbell. And she wins that important battle, delivers to Conway. Touch Bates work, to Anderson. And here's Farris Chaplin. Back inside 50 for the Ds again. Bannon worked under it. There's Shannon Campbell. Spark and Hanks. Here's Daisy Pierce trying to spin away from Anderson and Campbell. Easier said than done. And the winner is Shannon Campbell. Brisbane. A. Anderson, three votes. I declare the 2022 AFL Women's Best and Fairest Season 7 is Ali Anderson from the Brisbane Lions Football Club.